What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the capsule to talk to you about three brand new high caffeine energy drinks. We have two new Monster Rain flavors, Cherry Limeade and White Gummy Bear and Delish Strawberry Ooh. Kiss. Bang. So all of these have 300 milligrams of caffeine in one can. So Ryan, that's going to fuel Let's us do for it. an entire filming session that we're now filming out of order so that we can be energized by these. Uh, <laughs> we should have done it before so, and after. Uh, where, where should we start? I feel like I have to start with this delish strawberry kiss because yeah. it sounds like, unless it's talking about like a Hershey kiss and they're throwing in chocolate. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm probably not gonna love it. So let's let's start there. Let's okay. start at l- l- a low bar for rain. Okay. <laughs> First up is gonna be strawberry flavor. Uh, you know, it, strawberry doesn't really have a great reputation on the channel, but, but it's delish. But this one is delish, and it's a kiss. Yeah. So I guess we'll see delish strawberry kiss. It's about the fanciest can design of a bang that you'll ever see, which is a low bar. It's got all those hearts all over it and stuff. Dollar ninety nine. Hearts? They're hearts. Yeah, they're little they're little chunky hearts, oh, so it's I tough to tell. Were... It's not polka dots, oh, it's nice. hearts. Dollar ninety nine cents at H E B. And it's the only grocery store chain that I've been able to find these so far. H E B always early on the bang game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm always a little wary of any food that says it is delicious. Right. Yeah, That's... and not to mention, Bang already has like 20 something flavors and none of them say that they're delicious. This is going to be <laughs> so, either delicious or Brian, the worst. Hey. Here is your keep. Cheers. It, Let's see how it tastes. So was this a Valentine's related? I found it on Valentine's Day weekend, but I don't know if the two are connected <laughs> in any way. Gotta be. But that was like its release. Mm, okay. It's delish. It's it's pretty delish. <laughs> it's not too bad. For strawberry flavor, this is this is decent. Yeah. I'm trying to mm. You know what it tastes like? Mm. Like a dialed down sugar version of remember the the middle school vending machine minute made strawberry soda? Like the scratch logo minute made mm. strawberry soda? God, I wish I had one of those on my shelf. Somehow I don't have any Minute Maid on my shelf, but Minute Maid strawberry soda is actually pretty good. And this to me tastes a lot like that, but way less syrupy and not sugary. And that's a good thing. Now, uh, one thing- a lot of syrupy and sugariness. Where are you finding the syrup? Maybe not syrupy. Okay. Cause like soda is soda it's has sweet, that syrupy. Yeah, yeah, it's got some right. sweetness, syrupy but not syrupy right. is not it's the not, word. Okay, not <laughs> I'm just making sure because I'm imprecise in okay. my words right now. I haven't banged yet. I know this is why this is why we review the energy drinks Don't first. Don't not bang and drive. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is an expectations exceeding drink That's for good. me. I think this is very good. I do prefer the strawberry sublime rain to it because it has that added lime flavor. Mm. I feel like you threw some lime in here. You know, it would be like a, like a Sonic strawberry limeade. <laughs> you know, this is really, I was hoping that I would recognize mm. what, Tasty. what nostalgia it was flavor a you were talking about. I don't know what it was. I feel like it's related to the like oatmeal swirlers strawberry. Oh yeah, because I mean, yeah, it did have like a a jelly like mm-hmm. thing that like a packet that you that you yeah. put on your oatmeal. I can totally see that. Uh, boy, this strong start turns out bang. rain. I guess we gotta go to the cherry sublime first. Yeah. Because white gummy bear is the main event, so right. let, let, let's go to cherry. So now we're gonna get into the two rain flavors, starting with cherry sublime. It is cherry limeade flavor. How can you go wrong with that? I, I don't know, that sounds pretty delicious. $1.99 at Target. I had a really hard time finding this until yesterday. I saw it also at Walmart. So maybe it'll be uh, a little bit easier to find, but just like every other rain, it's clear. Ryan, let's keep you energized. Cheers. Cheers. 
Oh boy, these have 10 calories. Really? Do all rains? All rains have 10 calories, so. I know, we're gonna get fat. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cherry. Mm. Boy, that is very cherry forward, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Oh, they call it cherry limeade now. I thought it was cherry, I thought it was cherry sublime, like strawberry sublime. It's just cherry limeade is what they call it. <laughs> I created it as like a also lime oriented wordplay thing they in my own head. Why don't they do that? <laughs> okay, well we're gonna have to dog it down to half a gimmick grade point for that, but it smells very limey. Have you nosed very it up yet? <laughs> Oh, okay. I could oh, I could okay. go for a limeier though. Well, if I were to say, would I rather have a cherry flavored beverage or a lime flavored beverage? I'm lean in lime, and this definitely leans cherry. Yeah. I, but I think that may be an uncommon opinion. I think most folks would probably prefer cherry. I lean cherry. And this leans cherry, so that's going to be right mm -hmm. right in your wheelhouse if if that is the case. It's well, it's pretty solid. I just wish it was called Cherry Sublime and that we could just reshoot it and not pretend I'm an idiot, but why did I think it was Cherry Sublime? <laughs> I don't know. We gotta get into white gummy bear. My brain's, my, I need my brain medicine. <laughs> Ryan, fetch me my brain medicine. <laughs> banging. Okay. I know you said we're banging, we're not banging. We are actually raining. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got white gummy bear rain. We had some directorial banter going on that nobody's going to even know about. But uh, White Gummy Bear Rain, probably the most interesting flavor since Orange Dreamsicle. I'm excited to get into this one. I couldn't believe the price on this, but it was only $1.69 at some random 7-Eleven somewhere in the abyss on your way to Amarillo. Mm. Okay, this is one where it's a tough flavor to nail, and they didn't nail it. <laughs> like, white gummy bears are supposed to taste like pineapple, mm. but they kind of taste like their own thing. Okay. I feel like it tastes gummy somehow. Like It's more gummy than it is pineapple, that's for sure. I'm not getting a lot of pineapple flavor out of it. It's an incredibly sweet mm. tasting drink. This has zero sugar still. So they're accomplishing that just through those 10 calories. That's, that's mighty oh. impressive. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as white gummy bears and it's definitely not as good as an orange dreamsicle rain. Oh, it's, no, man. but it's pretty good. I like it a lot, yeah. I like the stock. I like the stock, <laughs> yep. Mm. <laughs> Man, mm. this is going to be a tough one, Bobby. I'm glad I don't have to grade these. Well, grade I actually, these. I have already, I have already figured Whoa. out, uh, I've already figured it out. Okay. So fortunately, put me in the driver's seat because I've been drinking my energy Get drinks. I'm ready to go. Get wheel. this man behind Get a wheel. Show. All right, but we got to start with the gimmick grade, so. All right, gimmick grade. Uh, you know, I love the design of the rain cans. I just, I love the logo. I love the, I love like the, the kind of matte finish against the shiny logo. It's a, um, it's a nicely designed can, but the, so the Cherry Limeade, not Cherry Sublime, Cherry Limeade, I guess it's a kind of interesting flavor. It's a, it's a kind of neat design, but Still a little bit too similar to what every other rain looks like and sounds like. So I'll give that a 5 out of 10. White gummy bear, though, I mean, that's that's a crazy flavor. That's a very disruptive thing. You hear white gummy bear flavored beverage, mm -hmm. you want that. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10, even though it looks so similar to everything else that's out there. Once again, I'm very interested in white gummy bear, but it is a step below what an orange dreamsicle was, you know, and it... That to me was like peak interesting rain flavor and I hope that they can top that one day. Bang did try to do something a little bit different. Delish, Strawberry Kiss. Uh, I'd say it kind of falls in the middle of these appropriately enough. I'll give it a six and a half out of 10 for the gimmick. But for taste, 
And you know, it's funny. I think I already oriented the cans in the <laughs> in the order in which I would need them. Capsule countdown. Got to be third place. Cherry limeade. Ryan, I know you agree with this one. You were saying on the second round that you just didn't like it much at all. Yeah, after it's weird. I I I feel like I did like it about as much as I anticipated. I wish it had more lime flavor. It it doesn't. And that's the clear weakness. But I still like it. I, I don't know, Ryan. I'll disagree a little bit. I still like it. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay. I think it's solid. Very solid flavor. One I would get again and revisit on its own just to spend a little bit more time with it and really figure out if this is going to be a repeat buy on a regular basis or if this is just something where I'll grab it in a pinch. Certainly, it makes Mango Matic look like the worst drink in the world mm. because it is the worst drink. <laughs> Uh, second place, it's the Delish Strawberry Kiss Bang. I, I mean, I, I think that as far as exceeding expectations, it's the clear winner, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? So even though it's got that silver medal to show for its efforts, it's a really solid strawberry flavored product. It's one of those things where if you're, if you're vehemently opposed to most artificial strawberry flavored stuff like we are, You'll still maybe like it, but if you love strawberry stuff, I think this is one of the finer examples that you'll find of a flavor that you're already very open to. So it just falls right in that sweet spot. What do you think, Ryan? About an 8 out of 10, maybe? I would say I mean, so, yeah. It's solid. That's so very generous. 8 out of 10, second place on today's Capsule Countdown. I'm giving a 9 out of 10 Whoa, to our winner today. Okay. I think White Gummy Bear is maybe my second favorite favorite flavor of rain besides the Orange Dreamsicle. I think I agree. Really great. Um, look, I didn't get a lot of pineapple flavor out of it, which was a little surprising to me. But I think I like it because I got a good amount of gummy bear flavor mm -hmm. out of it. And that's a tough flavor to turn into a beverage. So very impressed. High recommendation to go out and at least try it. It's been hard to find in its early phases, but I think that that's improving. So, I don't know. Go out and try it, and let's see what you think. From the archives today, it's got to be a beverage, right? So, thanks to my friend, you might know him as Collecting Candy on Instagram and Twitter, Jason Liebig. It's the Super Big Gulp 7-Eleven fountain drink container. Wow. This is from the early 90s. Judging by the logos, I'm going to peg it as maybe 1991 or 1992. Uh, it does have a proof of purchase with three points. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember them really doing a whole lot with that promotion. <laughs> but super big gulp. I do have the proof of purchase and I didn't even purchase it. So I... <laughs> You know, this is one of those ultimate ephemera kind of items that I'm glad to add to the collection. It's one of those uh, kind of pop culture iconic things that you just saw so much that nobody really thought to save it. But somebody did, and Jason ended up grabbing multiples of it when he finally found it and sent one over to me. We, we ended up inadvertently kind of doing a little bit of a trade where I sent him a McDonald's sign, he sent me this, but... And we were both actually just kind of giving each other nice gifts and it just worked <laughs> out kind of like a trade. So uh, I didn't go to 7-Eleven a lot as a kid. We had Store 24 in Massachusetts. Oh, I've never heard of that. Which is a cool place. So uh, I used to go there or Lil Peach. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are the two convenience store chains that kind of dominate or Cumberland Farms. Uh, those were kind of the three convenience stores that I remember vividly as a kid. But I only saw 7-Eleven advertised, and really it was when I moved to Texas in 96 that it really started going. And by then, they had already replaced this design. So it's nice to have a, a little bit of nostalgia, even if I wasn't so much in the midst of it at the time. Uh, next week, we're getting back into cereals. 2021, still proven to be the year of the cereal. <laughs> it is the General Mills remix, kind of snacking mix, trail mix type cereal products. It's Chocolate Toast Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Golden Grams. All three of those flavors next week on the CTC Review. So join us on Monday for that. And of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you. Cheers.